Welcome to Bart Fixes Thing. So today we're going to be fixing this bike and mostly the fender because as you can see this has seen some better days. Um, so we bought a new one uh, but that has a small issue. Let me show you real quick. So here's the fender and as you can see they sort of painted half of it on the inside. So I called up the manufacturer and they said, it's steel, it'll never rust. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be painting this with an extra coat. So I had some paint left over from the LPG conversion. So we're just gonna use that and hopefully it'll make a big mess. Um, because of the lighting, it's pretty hard to see for you, I think. The thing that's covered but yeah i am using a real brush this time <laughs> yeah so the inside of these fenders will see a lot of abuse just by water and, and dirt and stones so I don't really understand why they didn't just powder coat the entire thing because when you're powder coating it, I guess it's probably harder not to do everything. Yes, so this will be a more of a wide angle shot. I hope you guys can see something. <clears throat> I need to unlock it. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> One moment, please. Okay, here it goes. Got unlocked. So we'll start by just unscrewing most of the things. Loose, but it's not coming out. So. Okay, that's weird. Also, I don't really know how this will go underneath that, but here. Yeah. Um, oh, there's a bolt really completely underneath here, so I have to drop the whole wheel out. Nice. Okay. I think this just turned a easy job into a Pretty complicated job because that means taking the wheel out, taking the brakes off, taking the yeah, basically taking everything apart. That's just silly, yeah. But there's one bolt here, and there's no way for me to reach it otherwise. Okay, yeah, so you see, there is a bolt right there. Which I'm gonna try and loosen because now I can maybe just wiggle in there. So I've added some zip ties to the tire to give me some more working space. <laughs> At this point you might be asking, but why don't you just pull out the entire rear tire? And you're probably right that it's a good question. Uh, but yeah, it's like I'm almost done. So I currently... I can probably make it, so <laughs> maybe the tire is coming out anyway. Of course, one of the last bolts is seized, so we're gonna have to result to some persuasion. Now it's stripped completely almost. It's not good. Try this guy, but I'm afraid 
Let me keep drilling out. As you can see, I hope these are the size bolts that were in there. So basically, I need to measure this and use that size drill. So I measured inside of the threads, of course. And then just oh, <laughs> just put a drill right in there, and then see uh, what happens. Or the bolt ended up snapping so uh, yeah I've drilled completely through now and as you can see this one is tapped and this one no longer is so I need to run a tap through that when we start reassembling um, next up we're gonna take off this guy okay so I basically took a bit that fits put some tape around it so that it actually fits because it, the hole is round now and hammered it and then let's see if this works it's trying to go slowly Success! <laughs> Yikes! There we go. Sorted, and there she goes. Ta-da! So now we have the uh, the naked version. <laughs> Yeah, should probably save the tail light because that's good. So let's take that off. Well, that was easy. Sort of, let's mount it to the other one straight away. And I can probably mount the other brackets too. Probably smart. This is the back side. As you can see, this basically goes through one of the holes, and this goes through the other one. And that's it. Okay, probably want to put a washer behind it. Do we have something lying around here? Yes, we do. One tail light. There we go. And as for the old fender, you can see that it's powder coated metal. It doesn't rust. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here it's pretty bad. Yeah. Maybe I should have covered it more with the other one. Oh well. That's what it is. Yes, it totally fits. But as you can see, there is a small detail that I might have overlooked. So <laughs> let's swap that. So never underestimate all the tools. I bought this tap set like years ago for on sale, but it has saved me a couple of times. And this is one of those cases because this, if it focuses, is an M4 tap, which is exactly what I need here. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can drill it through easily. And I also need to figure out a way for you guys to see. One moment. You should probably not do this with a power drill. That looks like if it's gonna work. So I tried to rerun the, the tap once more and now there is a piece of hardened steel stuck in the frame. Nice going. 
Let's see if we can ram it out and just replace the thing with a normal bolt. Okay, so what did we learn? If you're gonna tap a hole, make sure that the hole is the correct size. I actually drilled this hole too small when I tried to tap it, and that's why the tap broke. And also, hardened steel is no match for cheap girls, basically. So yeah, uh, but there's a hole in there now, if you can see it. Yes, so I'm gonna have to cut this bolt to size and then it will just go in there. We should have enough clearance on the other side. Yeah, you see? So that'll be fine. Cool. Without getting sparks on my arms. Yeah, it's looking much better. Crisis averted, I guess. Okay, so if we stand behind it, it actually looks pretty straight. So I'm just, I'm just gonna bolt. I'm just gonna tighten everything, and that's it. And then the tire is gonna come off again, and we need to inflate the tire. This is the delicious thing I own, I guess. <laughs> As you might be able to see, the tire is going off completely crooked, so I'll have to try it again. It's a bit better, I'm not sure why it's really that. Probably because I've been yanking on it. Tighten you guys up just to be sure that you won't fall off again. 